Bertha. Big Bertha guy. Beep. What is going on, my sons? How y'all doing? I hope you guys are staying healthy. We got another exciting episode today. As usual, we are gonna be going to a pond near my house. Y'all hear that? Uh-huh. That's the sound of them straps vibrating because I'm taking the Yak Yak City out onto a local pond. Fished it yesterday, did extremely well. Saw a ton of fish. I'm gonna be focusing all my attention on mainly fishing the structure around the pond. So there's a lot of lay downs, a lot of rock. So I'm gonna be fishing that mostly. Hopefully we can get on a couple nice ones. Um, if not, it's no big deal. I'm just out there to catch some fish, show you guys how to fish some structure. Structure is super key when you're bass fishing, so stay tuned. If you're new to the channel, I'm Boston Fishaholic. Do a whole lot of fishing. Slay the New England area. If you don't know, you're about to know. So enjoy this video and stick around and hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Boys, first cast and I already got a bite. I'm not even kidding you. First cast and I got a bite. Oh my God, ripped it right out of his mouth. Boys, I just saw a tank eat it. Oh my God. Oh my God, I got a big one. Oh my God, first fish, second cast. Oh my God, oh my God. Okay, all right boys, all right boys, all right boys. Oh my God, oh my God. Guys, this is a giant. Guys, this is a giant. Holy shit. Holy shit, you gotta stay on here. Holy shit. Oh my god, boys. <laughs> now that's how you start a fishing trip, right there. Look at that fish. Oh my god. Oh yes! I got the second cast. First cast, I got bait. Second cast, behemoth. Absolute behemoth. Look at that. One last look at her. Wow, look at that fish, guys. What a tank. There she goes. That is what I'm talking about, folks. That is how you start off a fishing trip right there. Let's go. All right, so when I caught that giant, I was fishing this big giant rock wall and it's literally like, I don't know, I would say at least six to seven, eight feet maybe, right right where that wall is, so it's super deep. And there's structure lined up against the whole thing. I mean, it, the wall itself is structure, but I mean, there's down trees along the whole entire thing. So I just pitched my Sanko right into one of them and I saw that massive fish just come out and just demolish it. So, I mean, there's no better way to start off a trip. I got bit my first cast and then caught a Goliath grouper for my on my second cast i mean that's just amazing and we got hours ahead of us so stick around because this is probably going to be a good one pretty sure i got a fish on i don't think it's a big one. Oh yeah oh sure it ain't a bad one there we go boys let's go Let's go. We are on them today. All right, second one, decided to move off those big ones. And it was literally my first cast at a new spot that I just paddled to, a little chunker. Not too shab, not too shab. These fish fight so hard in here too. It's wicked strange how hard they fight, but yeah, there we go. Second one, not a bad one. Since I can't catch them, since they don't want to bite, the least I could do is stick the camera under water and get some cool shots. So I hope you guys enjoyed those shots. It's pretty cool to watch them just cruise that rock wall and how they actually really hold to that structure. It's really cool. There's about three of them down there. I'm not sure how many of them I got on camera, but it's pretty neat to watch them do their thing down there. Boys, I got one on. Don't know how big it is. It feels kind of small, so I'm kind of just letting them eat it. Oh, I got him. Oh yeah, he's a dink. Absolute dinker. Look at this. This is pitiful. You guys can barely hear me probably because someone's using tools in the background, but 
monster. The fish I caught before this could have ate this fish. All right, real quick, just wanna interrupt the video real quick to go over the setup that I'm using. I am rocking. If you're trying to flex a little bit, definitely this combo is the one. I'm using the Abu Garcia Revo SX. Fire, 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 reel. 801 gear ratio, so it's like an all-purpose reel. Covers a lot of water, good for moving baits. I like to use a Senko real fast, so that's why I tie the Senko and use this reel. I got a 20 pound braid on there, and it is paired with my seven foot medium fast action Vendetta Abu Garcia rod. Absolute beast. Handle, that grip, super comfortable. And it just all the colors match and go together, so that's why I picked these two to go together. Like I said, if you're trying to flex on them, this is a combo. Super sensitive tip. Awesome combo. I'll link it down below for y'all. Boys, we got a fish. We got a fish on. Hopefully I don't blow it. I've blown like three or four. I got it. I got it. Decent one. Decent one. Yep, that's a decent one. Oh my god, they fight so hard in here. Oh, come here, come here, come here. Come here, come here. Oh, yes. Yes. Here we go. There's a little chunker, boys. Here we go, peep this little chunker. Here we go. Been grinding hard for this fish, I'll tell you that for free. Look at that dorsal fin, though. One last look at that fish. Sanko in the mouth. Venom Lewis. Got this fish right off that down tree over there. I'll give you guys a better look at it, but... Yep, not bad. Little chunker. Been eating. Alright, Fishaholics. I am about to paddle my behind. Back into shore because I'm wrapping it up. My phalanges feel like they're about to fall off. You feeling me? Nope, you're not because you're watching me through a TV screen. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Caught a real nice one right off the bat. That was sick. A couple more decent ones, and I lost my chance at a few ones, but they weren't they weren't very big. Seen a whole bunch of bass cruising. This spot's awesome. Totally gonna be back to film another video, but I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Smash that like button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Boston Fishaholic. Do a whole lot of fishing. Slay the New England area. And I'll catch you guys on the next kayaking adventure. Don't forget, fish that structure, find the rock, find those steep drop-offs, and hammer them. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace.